What is up everybody and welcome to this, the next episode. And getting our launch box, big box, rocket launcher, uh, set up to the max. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at uh, not adding any games as such, but adding some much needed uh, themes and getting big box set up with controls um, and how we can get it looking uh, as you've seen some of my showcase videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, first off, we're going to look at is... Uh, although this looks nice, this default theme, there are now options for you to actually change this and give LaunchBox itself a theme. Uh, to do this, what we need to do is go to the Tinternet uh, and we need to go here. I will put this uh, uh, web uh, address in the description below. Um, what I'm going to be using today is this Nosh on this twice. I do like Nosh's work, so thank you very much, Nosh. Um, and we can download it. What we do then is if we click here, uh, download this file, you'll get a fonts folder and a nosh on this twice launch box a zip. Okay. Once you've downloaded it, uh, you'll end up with these two folders. First off, get the fonts and install them. Okay. Once you've installed them, what we're going to do is go to our install directory. We're going to go to launch box. We're going to go to LB themes. And we're going to pop this nosh on this twice uh, LB in here. Okay. Once it's in there, what we do is go back to our launch box. Go back to our little three lined menu. We're going to go to tools and we're going to go to options. This visual uh, menu tab, is it? Uh, we're going to click on that and then we're going to select nosh on this twice. Once we click OK, it will say that it needs to restart or we need to restart it. So click OK, let it close down and then we're going to restart it. OK, so as you can see, that's drastically changed the effect. It's up to you what personal preference is. Um, there are a number of um, uh, launch box themes. OK, I like Nosh's, uh, so I've gone with that, but all of these obviously people put a lot of time into them um, and you can download as you wish if you use the method that I've just shown you now for those that have a license so have big box okay what we're going to look at doing is um, installing some themes for big box now I'm going to go for unified a reef ride by retro humanoids um, I love this theme uh, it's a new theme I previous to that like the unified theme by uh, Critical Sid, he's done some excellent work, um, but I'm going to go for this because uh, it's pretty new and I like a change. So if you visit this web web page here on the interwebs, uh, you will come up with this page. It will give you some instructions on what you can do. Okay, what I want you to do is pay particular uh, heedance to this, and basically uh, in the plugin folder that you'll get here you need to unlock these deals by clicking here okay you only apparently need to do it once uh, okay so just pay uh, particular attention to that what you can do as well with this theme is retro humanoid has outdone himself he's giving you a platform video set and also the logo set I'm not sure if you can download them through launchbox itself because I've not tried but we'll have a look so if, on the tools, if you want to download um, platform playlist theme videos, you can. Okay, so we're not going to go for the big box cinematics for various reasons. Okay, so control alt de uh, defeats done some. I quite like his work. So you've got a range here you can download. Now retro humanoids isn't on there yet. Okay, I might have a play about with that one in a bit because it's something that I haven't seen before. Um, so once you close that down, it downloaded the video. It can do it automatically here, but for retro humanoids, uh, unified uh, refried, we're going to do it a bit uh, manually. Okay, so we're going to go to our launch box folder, and where it says themes, we're going to I'm going to drag and drop this uh, unified uh, refried into here. Okay. Now I've downloaded the logos and the thing, uh, the platform video. So I'm going to also download 
uh, sorry, copy or drag and drop them in there. And we want images, platform. It's not there. Let's make one. Now, of course, you can use the inbuilt downloader to download uh, any uh, video you so wish. It's up to you. I'm just using this as an example. So, once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Big Box. Let it load in. And obviously, you need a license uh, to run this. Um, so you can go and get one. Okay, so this is the standard default theme. What we're going to do is we're going to go back or escape. So I'm using the keyboard. We're going to go to options. Let's enable our controller first. So use game controllers. Use all controllers. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to look at controller button. So I'm using a PS4 pad, thinking it's a, an Xbox 360 pad. Um, I want to just have a look at these. And you can set these to whatever you wish. Um, okay. So I'm going to go here. So right thumbstick, I've got switch view, and I've got switch theme. Okay. Exit, I'm going to set to back. Let's make sure that I'm not clashed with any of them. There we go. And you can set them to whatever you wish um, in terms of that. Some people usually have this as the right thumbstick up and right thumbstick down uh, to increase volume, etc. Okay. Totally up to you. So once you've done that, we're going to come back. We've now got a controller working and we're going to go here views theme and we've got a unified theme okay I want uh, to remember separate views for each platform uh, because I lo I basically like uh, to have uh, different systems with different views so if I haven't got any media I might have it as text so especially if I'm missing the wheel art Okay, so let's have a look at this. So I'm using VLC. And that should be fine. Let's have a look where we are at, at the moment. Okay, so if I go and press, can't remember which one. Okay. If I go in and press the right thumbstick, then I can change the various views. Uh, I don't like that one full screen video these are just screenshots because I've not put any videos in it uh, the text one now I might use this view for things like the spectrum Amiga where there's a lot of wheel art and a lot of artwork missing still for those systems okay quite like that it's quite clean but I'm just pressing the right thumbstick I can cycle through the views like that looks nice Okay, so there we go, we've set up our theme on Big Box. So now we set up the theme and that's as simple as that. Uh, what you can do now is I'm going to show you a little few uh, tweaks uh, that you might want to do. Now this is totally subjective, uh, but we'll go through them just so you can have a play around. Okay, so if we go back, back into the options and we'll have a look at some of these okay so um, in terms of views this is again totally up to you um, if you want to filter certain things then you can do and you can enable them or disable them here uh, images looking at the images that you might want 
um, to show again you can disable or enable them here uh, you can build an image cache uh, this can take quite a while if you've got a, a big amount of games big collection of games uh, videos whether you want to use game background videos I don't so I'm gonna leave it as uh, as it is uh, the type of sound that you want to set up so I'm using the sci-fi set 3 by uh, Clavius, Clavius, have I pronounced that right? Now this one's key transitions. I found that in earlier builds of uh, Big Box, um, if I had them all random, it caused a few issues in terms of slowdown. I haven't got a slouch of a PC, so I tend to use uh, the default ones, and it's perfectly fine. Works quite well. A track mode is when it spins and uh, shows you random games, um, so you can enable that. Any security that you might want to add not sure about that one game details type of game details that you want to have uh, shown on the game details screen uh, and the same with the game menu okay so show loading game message we're gonna disable that and we're gonna disable that again enabling the startup screen will cause uh, a few issues with rocket launchers so we're gonna make sure that we disable that okay the feet uh, filter details uh, pretty self-explanatory uh, and same with platform details uh, keyboard mapping so these are pretty much co quite comprehensive in terms of things you can do controllers are already covered um, okay so you can actually use some automation with the controller uh, so what happens when you hold a button uh, etc um, and enabling the mouse so I've got this uh, def uh, off as default you can enable it but that's totally up to you and that's it it's really really quite simple there are some in-depth options you can have a play around with see what you get let's come out of here okay so that's that they're basically quite simple uh, straightforward to set up what I advise you to do is if you're um, installing different themes from what I've shown you um, make sure you read uh, the guidelines uh, I know that retro humanoid spent quite a long time putting this together um, and most of the things that uh, uh, have happened uh, that people have issues that have happened to them uh, is because they've not followed the uh, instructions so whichever theme you use and there are a few go back you'll see I think it's about 100 and something 85 uh, so there you go um, so as long as you follow those instructions you can't go wrong um, if you like this video uh, please like and subscribe if you didn't like this video then please don't if you really really like this video you can donate me there's a pal button uh, button on the top of my uh, main page or there is a link in the description below but until next time thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon